A certain American religious sect has been looking at conditions of the world during the flood. According to their calculations, during the flood, the winds, tides, and currents were in an overall southeasterly direction. This would then mean that in order for Noah's Ark to have ended up on Mount Ararat here, would had to have started out several thousand miles to the west. This would then locate pre-flood civilization somewhere in the area of upstate New York and the Garden of Eden in New York City. Now in order to get from one place to another, something must move. Now no one in New York remembers moving and there are no traces of biblical history in the upstate New York area. So we're led to the only available conclusion in this time warp, and that is that the Ark has simply not left yet. Now let's compare the situation to a familiar occurrence. You're driving, and it's dark, and it's raining, and you took a turn right there, but you're not really sure it was the right turn. But you took the turn anyway, and you just kept going in that direction. And eventually, it starts to get light. And you look out, and you realize you have absolutely no idea where you are. So you get out the next gas station, and you say, hello, excuse me, can you tell me where I am? You can read the signs. You've been on this road before. Do you want to go home? Do you want to go home now? Hello, excuse me. Can you tell me where I am? In our country, this is the way we say hello. It is a diagram of movement between two points. It is a sweep on the dial. In our country, this is also the way we say goodbye. Say hello. Hello, excuse me. Can you tell me where I am? In our country, this is the way we say goodbye. It is shorthand for last night. You were here, but when I woke up, in the morning, you were gone. In our country, goodbye looks just like hello. Say hello. Hello, excuse me. Can you tell me where I am? In our country, we send pictures of people speaking our sign language into outer space. We are speaking our sign language in these pictures. Do you think that they will think his arm is permanently attached in this position? Or do you think that they will read our signs? In our country, goodbye looks just like hello. Say hello. Say 